In today's video, we are going to help you solve a common issue that you might face when trying to boot your computer or laptop from a bootable hard drive. The error message you see on the screen is This device was created by Rufus, it can boot in UEFI mode only, but you are trying to boot in BIOS legacy mode. This will not work. If you've encountered this, don't worry. We've got a simple and effective solution for you. First, take the USB drive that's causing the error out of the computer and plug it into another computer. From there, you'll need to download and run the latest version of Rufus tool. The download link is provided in the description below. Once Rufus is up and running, you'll need to select your USB drive. After that, under the boot selection menu, choose the option disk or ISO image and then click select. Find and select the ISO file for the operating system you want to install. Next, under image option, make sure you choose standard Windows installation. Now, here's the critical part. You'll need to set the partition scheme to MBR. This is the key step to fixing the error. For the target system, select BIOS or UEFI CSM. You can leave the remaining settings as default. Once you have everything configured, click the Start button. If you see a pop-up window, just click OK to begin the process of creating your bootable USB. Once you click OK, a pop-up will appear warning you that all data on the USB will be erased or formatted. To proceed, click OK. Then the software will then begin copying files to the USB, which will take around 10 to 14 minutes to complete. However, in this video, I've sped up the process. Once Rufus has finished making your USB bootable, close the program, safely eject the USB drive and then plug it back into the original computer. Now restart the computer and as it's booting up, press the key required to access the boot menu. In most cases, this will be F12 but it can vary depending on your system. As you can see, my PC is now booting correctly after creating the bootable USB in this updated format. Thank you for watching today's tutorial. I hope this helped you solve the UEFI boot error issue. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel for more tech tips, tutorials, and troubleshooting guides. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you won't miss any future updates from Easy Robotic. If you have any questions or run into any issues, feel free to drop them in the comments section below and I'll do my best to assist you. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.